Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and uh, I just got a request from y'all. Uh, a lot of you guys wanted to know how to hook up your um, your uh, Nintendo Switch to your PC. A lot of you guys uh, didn't understand why you couldn't do it. You tried to plug it into your uh, uh, into your uh, computer cards and all that stuff, and you wanted to hook it up to your monitor. Uh, actually, one of you guys told me because you have a lot of your family; they're always on the TV. You wanted to move it into the computer so you can, you know. Uh, as you're doing something that that's what I like doing at least like when I'm rendering a video or doing something that's time extent you know that that takes a ton of time uh, for instance scan disk or whatever um, or even rendering out uh, certain 3d scenes what I like to do is play some games and obviously it's a little bit harder to do it well you know while you're doing some uh, you know and uh, things that actually drain your PC, you know what I mean? So the games are going to go slow or not play right, you might have hiccups or whatever, so you want to hook up your Switch directly to the PC. So very simple, guys, I'm going to teach you extremely fast, I'm going to teach you a way that I do it, and I'm going to teach you ways that you can do it, um, you know, even on old monitors, so it's not really an issue. The thing is, I will tell you that it's better to use a 16 uh, by 9 ratio, like a widescreen television, because a white, uh, sorry, monitor, uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because if it's like one of those, you know, uh, SD versions or whatever, it should be HD and, and widescreen because if it's not, it's going to look like it's smushed or whatever. You'll still be able to play the game, but it won't look as good as, let's say, you're putting it on your TV. Where in my case, it looks exactly like on the TV because I have a 4K monitor. But even if I had a regular HD monitor, okay, I'd be able to, uh, uh, to I mean, I would get the widescreen because that's how it, it was meant that was the form factor uh that it was meant the aspect ratio that it was meant to be uh played in so uh let's go right into it and i'm going to show you right now okay so give me one second okay guys so as you can see um i already put it inside here so i'm just going to show you what it is uh so right here okay you're going to need to put in the first uh the hdmi into this port right here where it says HDMI out, okay? Now the other HDMI in, now it doesn't matter what you use because any type of thing, you're gonna need to start off here. You're gonna need to get an HDMI wire and we're gonna get into that, okay? Now I have HDMI on all sides. I'm gonna fix that afterwards because this is annoying. Oh, here, never mind. Okay, so what you do is you just pretty much plug that in and then the other one I have, you plug it in right into the HDMI cord into this monitor and poof. The thing will play very easy, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you all of that in about a second. Now, let us say you had an old monitor, okay, and you wanted, uh, uh, to, I mean, a uh, somewhat new monitor, not new, but older, mo old monitor, let's put it that way. You just get yourself one of these, okay, it's on eBay right here, I'm not endorsing them, you can go under the cheapest one and just get it, uh, and uh, pretty much get yourself a DVI Okay, to a, a, a HDMI to DVI uh, uh, wire, and you'll be fine. Because you see, you got the HDMI that will hook up into here, and the DVI cable that will hook up directly into your monitor. Now, you don't want to hook this up to your computer. You want to hook it up directly to your monitor. Also, there's some pluses, and a, a, a lot of pluses, actually, in that. You're not using your computer. I don't think it would work anyway, because I tried it, it didn't. But... Um, even if it was possible, like I know some screen uh, capturing software, it still drains your computer. You won't be able to play it flawlessly like you would when it's, you know, just being used as a television here, as a, as a, as a monitor. So that, that's something to think about. Now, let us say you had a very, very old um, monitor, which my friend did, and I recommended him that he gets this. And here we go. So you get an HDMI okay uh, gold here mail to vga so you get an hdmi to vga again same concept this thing goes right into here and that goes right into your monitor okay and then you got yourself a perfect thing now for me it's hdmi to hdmi not a problem now obviously uh, i'm not going to be uh, playing around with 4k because this thing does not I uh, have 4K, it has HD. So even though I have a 4K monitor, it still operates with the HD wire as, uh, uh, sorry, it's HDMI wire as HD. So I'm going to go right into here and I'm going to show you guys right now what I'm talking about. So then you got to go into your settings, whatever it is on your monitor. Uh, and we're going to go into, I believe this, oh no, oops, made a mistake. Okay guys, here we go. I just hate that Asus uh, monitors have these buttons in the back it's so annoying because you don't know where the hell you are but here we go so it's right here operating at 
8 full HD, right? So it's going pretty well on a 4K monitor, and you could see it works on every monitor, obviously. And look at this. You got Mario right here. Oh. So I can't play, obviously, because it's I need two hands for this. But uh, there you go. Plays perfectly well. Per everything is perfect. And, uh, I mean, everything works just as it does anywhere else. I mean, here goes Bayonetta. Let's go look, start this baby up. <laughs> so here you go. Everything is perfect. Now, of course, uh, I put the volume down, but obviously the volume works also. The only thing that I wish it had is that it could hook up to my computer speakers, but obviously it could, but I have to hook it up to the monitor, which sucks. So you have to play with onboard uh, sound on the on the monitor, so whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you know, who cares, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, but here you go. Works perfectly fine. And you'll see, just like it's running anywhere else, so it's not really... And it looks beautiful. I mean, on my screen, it looks incredible. It looks just like you're going to have it on, uh, you know, anywhere else. So this is the, uh, don't pay too much attention, this is the first Bayonetta. So obviously like the one I reviewed, I told you it's a little bit pixelated, the second one is the best. Uh, we're looking forward to the third, obviously when that comes out I'll buy it and review it as well. Uh, but here you go guys, so everything works just fine, everything is crystal clear, there's no uh, issue here. I mean, let me just uh, get rid of this. It's hard to do it with one... Uh, one hand here but uh here you go so it looks everything perfect i mean there's nothing nothing wrong here and uh that's it looks awesome so just like you're hooking it up to your regular monitor now that's uh, that's all i gotta say about that now if uh for all you guys out there um i am i pre-ordered the games you, you asked me to uh, donkey kong so whenever it comes out obviously i'll review and whatever guy, uh, games you guys request i'll try to get and review for you and i do other reviews as well of uh, technology and everything definitely always giving honest reviews i don't ask as usual i say this after every video i don't ask for patreon services or anything like that so i give you guys honest reviews the only thing i ask for is that you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and smash that bell button okay guys okay guys so right now this is on my uh monitor here the 4k monitor i'm gonna put it in the description below exactly which one i have it's actually pretty cheap for a 4k monitor but what happens is it's pretty cool like the second you shut it off and i'm sure it works on all lcds the same way so the second you shut it off it goes right into your computer and i'm going to show you guys right now so you're going to go right here oh where is it oh oops Oh, I got to take this out. Give me one. So uh, you go right into here. So I just had to go into that because I had to take the controller out. I forgot. And you shut it off. And now look, it automatically goes right into your computer. So you'll go right into the computer. So it just shuts off on its own. You don't have to touch any of the buttons, any anything. It's just going to take some, like about a couple seconds here. And there you go. It flashes and you're back on the computer here. So, pretty cool, huh, guys? Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, definitely, the only way you guys can help me out, as I always said, I don't do Patreon services. I give you guys honest reviews and everything and tutorials and whatnot and cover an array of things. Uh, so, basically, the only way to help me out here is to uh, subscribe, hit the bell button, and uh, the like button, and you guys will be helping me out tremendously. Anyways, have a good one, y'all. Uh, hope this helped uh, to all you guys that were requesting this. Uh, it's very easy and very simple. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.